हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू विद्या मिराट दिस वीडियो इज मेड फॉर क्लास एट ऑन चैप्टर इलेवन मैं टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी लेट्स बिगेन विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फॉर डूइंग दिस यू शुड नो द एरिया ऑफ द ट्रिपीजियम फॉर्मूला दैट इज हाफ इंटू ए प्लस बी इंटू एच लेट्स गो टू थ्री क्वेश्चन वॉट ऑल इज गिवन टू अस द शेप ऑफ द टॉप सर्फेस ऑफ अ टेबल इज अ ट्रिपीजियम find its area if its parallel sides are 1 and 1.2 meters and perpendicular distance between them is 0.8 meters now here for finding out the area of a trapezium the formula as i told half into a plus b into h a plus b are the parallel sides that is given to us as 1.2 and 1 one will be smaller one will be bigger and the height which is the perpendicular distance between the two parallel sides which is given to us as 0.8 so it becomes half into 2.2 into 0.8 which gives us 0.88 meters square please remember to put the units as square units because we are finding out its area question number 2 the area of a trapezium is 34 cm square and the length of one of the parallel sides is 10 cm and its height is 4 cm find the length of the other parallel sides now let us first write out the formula formula is half into a plus b into h a plus b these are the parallel sides one of the parallel side is given to us as 10 and other parallel side we don't know so we will keep writing it as b so formula here area of trapezium is already given to us as 34 so 34 is equal to half into 10 plus b multiplied by 4 which is the height so when you solve this after simplifying you will get your b or the other parallel side as 7 cm question number 3 The length of the fence of a trapezium shaped field ABCD is 120 meter that means they have given us the total length ABCD which is 120 meters various other sides are also given to us that is BC is 48 CD is 17 and AD is given as 40 find the area of this field now since this is in trapezium shape our formula is half into a plus b now a plus b over here is bc plus ad multiply by height height is ab but ab we don't know but still we can find out ab easily because we know the total length is 120 if i subtract 120 minus 48 minus 17 minus 40 it gives me 15 meters so ab is 15 meters which is the height of the trapezium so just put into the formula you will get the area of the field as 660 meters square question number 4 the diagonal of a quadrilateral shaped field is 24 meters and the perpendicular drop down it from the remaining opposite vertices are 8 meters and 13 meters find the area of the field now if you look at the shape a b c d You see, BD is your diagonal, which is dividing your quadrilateral into two triangles. And we know to find out the area of a triangle that is half into base into height. Now, what is base? BD. BD is my base, which is twenty-four meters, and height is respectively for ABD is thirteen meters, and for triangle BCD is eight meters. Just put into the formula, add them together, you will get the total area of the field. so that means what we are going to do is area of triangle abd that is half into base into height that is half into 24 into 13 and area of triangle bcd that is half into base into height which is half into 24 into 8 so 12 into 13 plus 12 into 8 you will get your answer as 252 meter square which is the total area of the field question number 5 The diagonals of a rhombus are 7.5 cm and 12 cm find its area. So very simple just remember the formula for a rhombus. Area of the rhombus we can find out in two ways. First of all we know that rhombus is a parallelogram so I can choose to find out the area of a rhombus as base into altitude. Or if diagonals are given to me then it will be half into 
diagonal 1 into diagonal 2. Now, in this question, diagonals are given. So, I will be using the formula of half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2, which both the diagonals are given to us. So, half into 7.5 into 12 gives me 45 centimeters square. Question number 6. Find the area of a rhombus whose side is 5 centimeters and whose altitude is 4.8 centimeters. Now, see. Here also we have to find out the area of the rhombus but here we are given the side and we are given the altitude. That means I know the base, I know the altitude, I can find out using the formula base into altitude or side into altitude which is 5 multiplied by 4.8 that comes out to be 24 centimeters square. Now this is the same formula for area of a parallelogram. Now rhombus is also a parallelogram so we are using this formula and remember this. Now they are saying that one of the diagonal is 8 centimeters long, find the length of other diagonal. Now see, we know the area of the rhombus, just now we have found by using the formula side into altitude which is 24 and we also know that area of a rhombus is half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2. We know diagonal 1, 8, we don't know diagonal 2. So putting into the formula, we can write 24 is equal to half into 8 into d2. So, D2 comes out to be 6 centimeters. That means the length of the other diagonal is 6 centimeters. Question number 7. The floor of a building consists of 3000 tiles which are rhombus shaped and each of its diagonals are 45 centimeters and 30 centimeters in length. Find the total cost of polishing the floor if the cost per meter square is rupees 4. Now, number of tiles are given to us 3000. We are also given the both the diagonals 1 and diagonals 2. So, we can find out the area of one tile or area of a rhombus shaped one tile which is half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 which means half into 45 into 30 which is equal to 675 centimeters square. This is the area of one tile. But we want area for 3000 tiles. So, it will be multiplied by 3000. That comes to 202500 centimeters square. Now, our area is coming in centimeters. We need to convert it into meters by dividing it by 10,000. So, it will come in meter square. 202.5 meter square. Now, they are telling us for 1 meter square, the cost of polishing is rupees 4. So, for 202.5 meter square, the cost of polishing will be just multiply with 4, you will get rupees 810. That will be the total cost of polishing the floor. Question number 8. Mohan wants to buy a trapezium shaped field. Its side along the river is parallel to the twice the side along the road. Now, let us assume the river side as 2x and road side be x because river side is twice the side along the road. So, we are assuming that the let the road side be x meters. So, river side be 2x meters. If the area of the field is 10500 meters square and the perpendicular distance between two parallel side is 100 meters, find the length of the side along the river. So, we have assumed the sides parallel side as x and 2x. Height is already given to us as 100 and area is also given to us. Just put into the formula of area of a trapezium which is equal to half into a plus b into h. So, 10,500 is equal to half into 2x plus x into height is 100. Solve it, x comes out to be 70 meters. But this x is the side along the road. We want to know the side along the river. So, 2 multiplied by 70, that comes out to be 140 meters. That will be the length of the side along the river. Question number 9. The top surface of a raised platform is in the shape of a regular octagon as shown in the figure. Find the area of the octagonal surface. Now, by looking at this figure, we can see that there are two trapeziums and one rectangle and dimensions are given to us. So, area of a octagonal surface will be area of a trapezium ABCH plus the area of rectangle HCDG plus area of a trapezium GDEF. 
Now you will be wondering that dimensions of one trapezium are given to us and other trapezium are not given to us. But as per the figure, as per the shape, we can come to know that both the sizes and things are same. So that means area of trapezium ABCF and area of trapezium GDEF will be same by using the dimensions 11, 5 and 4. So let us do it. Now here when I find out the ABCH half into A plus B into H we get area of trapezium ABCS 32 meter square plus I will do area of a rectangle that is length into breadth that is 11 into 5 which is 55 meter square plus I will do area of a trapezium GDEF that it will also be 32 meters square. So adding them all together that will be the area of the octagonal surface which comes out to be 119 meters square. You can either calculate it separately one by one and add them together or you can do by this whichever way you find it convenient you can do. Question number 6. There is a pentagonal shaped park as shown in the figure. For finding its area, Jyoti and Kavita divide it into two different ways. Now, if you see, there is a pentagon shape which is five-sided figure. Measurements are given to us as 15 meters. We, Jyoti has divided into a trapezium form and Kavita has divided into a triangle and a square form. We need to find out its area. So, when we use Jyoti's diagram, according to the Jyoti's diagram, we have joined AF as a diagonal and we have made it in the trapezium form. And when we solve it into the formula that is half into A plus B into H, we will put the values A and B as 15 and 30 which is already given in the figure and height will be 7.5. So from where 7.5 has come, if you look at the base that is 15 meters, just divide it by 2 that will be half. That is 7.5 becomes the height of one trapezium and 7.5 will be the height of another trapezium. So, whatever answer comes for one trapezium, you can multiply it by 2 to get the total area. Or you can calculate it separately also. Both the areas of A, B, C, F and A, E, D, F will be same. So, what I have done is I have just multiplied it by 2 in finding out one trapezium. That comes out to be 337.5 meters square. This is as per Jyoti's diagram. Now let us find out the other figure. Now other figure what Kavita has done is it is divided into triangle as well and square. So we will find out the area of a triangle ABE that is half into base into height which is 15 into 15 and area of a square BCDE that is again 15 into 15 that is the area of a square. So half into 15 into 15 plus 225 Again, when we solve it, it will give us 337.5 meter square. So, both Jyoti and Kavita, they are getting the same area even though they have used different way of solving it. Now, as per the question, they are also asking us, is there any other way of finding out the answer? Yes, there is one more way of finding out. What I have done is, I have joined CE. Now, if you look at the figure, you have triangle ABE. You have triangle BEC, you have triangle EDC. There are three triangles using the formula of half into base into height. If I put it, your base is 15, your height is also 15. Just put it, you will again get your answer as 337.5 meters square. And so you can see that in all the three cases, your answer, your area is coming same. Question number 11. Diagram of the picture frame has outer dimensions which is equal to 24 centimeters and 28 centimeters and inner dimensions are given as 16 centimeters and 20 centimeters. Find the area of each section of the frame if the width of each section is the same. Now here if I ask about the width, width means it will be the height of a particular trapezium. If you see your outer there are four trapeziums. To find out the height 1, if you see H1, we don't know. So, H1, if you just see parallel straight line, that is 28 centimeters minus 20 centimeters, which will be 8. 
now 8 will be divided by 2 because 4 will be up and 4 will be down it will be same same way if I look at the trapezium B and D shape you have height 2 now height 2 if you see where is height 2 just see the parallel line that is 24 minus 16 which is again 8 divided by 2 it will come as 4 total difference is 8 but it will be equally divided for each section there are two sections B and D so I have divided by 2 so height 2 will be 4 now let us find out the area of trapezium A your area of trapezium A will be same as area of trapezium C and area of trapezium B will be same as area of trapezium D so let us find out the area of trapezium A that is half into A plus B into H1 that will be when you solve it half into 24 plus 16 into 4 it comes out to be 80 centimeters square so area of trapezium A and area of trapezium C both are 80 centimeters square let's find out for B and D it will be half into 28 plus 20 into 4 that comes out to be 96 centimeters square so like this we have found out all the parts of area of trapezium A, B, C and D that comes out to be 80 centimeters square 96 centimeters square again 80 centimeters square and 96 centimeters square respectively with this we finish exercise 11.2 I hope you must have found it very easy just you need to know some basic formulas for base, mostly this exercise is for trapezium so you should know the area of trapezium how we have to find out you should know area of the rhombus you should know area of the triangle if you know the formulas very well you can find out the answers very easily thank you very much children for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next video till then goodbye take care